Yeah, hey, I'm getting skunked. <laughs> oh, bro, you getting skunked? Clout. Let's see you. Clout. Let's see you. Clout. You better get. Oh! 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 oh. 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 <laughs> never ran, never will. Brown bill. What the? Nice oh. one. Man. Nice one. <laughs> That shit real quick. Hold up. What you clipping for? You ain't make the play. <laughs> he did, and it's worth it. And I'm putting that bitch on snap when I wake up tomorrow. Mm. Damn, all the bitches gonna fuck with that shit. That's big swan. <laughs> swan going on somebody else's snap. Yeah, you. What the? Let get funny if you let him see yo. Oh, bitch, I get two hundred plus. Mm. Let's sweep these just, niggas. Oh. Come on, don't don't throw it. Oh, fuck fuck don't throw it. Give me the ball. Fuck <laughs> that. YouTube. Hey, Amen. It's the ISO God, the greatest ISO God of all time, the original himself. Listen, bro. Before I really get into the nitty and gritty of this video, the main topics, I need to go on a rant right i have to go on the rant for the community to enlighten you all you need to be enlightened i know a lot of you aren't going to agree with me because you're box you're sheep you know you're not good at the game or you're just someone that likes things easy in life and when you can't do something in life or you can't understand it you you shun it right instead of Becoming enlightened like several others have, you know, and actually test it to see if it's true, you rather just shun it because you want life the easy way, bro. You will fast food, Nick. But look, man, there's a lot of people bashing ISO, okay? My rant is going to be about this ISO and um, <laughs> this screen <laughs> long century debate since 17, right? <laughs> listen listen it's not a debate it's a literal fact that iso takes more skill okay it's a fact it's not an opinion it's not a preference of play style it's none of it's a literal fact it's a fact bro okay i'm gonna break it down to you why it's a fact Listen closely. I know a lot of y'all don't go outside. I know a lot of y'all don't watch basketball. I know a lot of y'all are highlight watchers. You've never had stick game in a, in, a, in a game, right? You're just, you know? Listen, listen very closely, bro. Listen to what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. make sure you subscribe if you know. Get that, hit that like button. 2,000 likes, man. Let's get it. Get this vid out there. It needs to be heard, bro. Just listen. Listen to what I'm saying. It makes sense. Let me know your thoughts. It makes sense. There's no debate against it. When you see someone bash ISO, feed this to them. Spam these niggas. They're like brain dead. I've never seen so many retarded niggas in the world. It's fucking incredible, right? So look, okay, so what do people do at the stage, right? What people do at the stage, it's always the easiest way to play. It's never what takes most skill. They use the most OP lineups, the most OP builds, the most OP dribble moves, the most OP styles, and they all mimic each other. What do they do? What have they been doing since 17, bro? Wait, what? What was that? Running screens. If ISO takes less skill than screens why wouldn't people just iso this has happened in previous 2ks when screens weren't op think about it now 99.9 percent .9 of comp pro-am stage etc what do they use screens that will always tell you 
what takes the least skill to use. It's common sense. Common sense. There's no debate. You fucking idiots. Nigga, no one ISOs. <laughs> okay? Listen, another thing. What do 99.999999% of casuals run? Screens. Why is that? Why is it? There's no debate. It's not a debate. It's not a opinion. It's a fact that ISO takes more skill. You niggas are stupid. You like, what is wrong with niggas? I, I don't understand. You think, <laughs> you think the world just filled with people with morals that want to do shit that, that takes the most skill the hardest way to prove that they don't need to hide behind a nigga to get buckets? You think, no, nigga, niggas is going to do what's easy, okay? Now, with that fa those two facts right there, you body anybody. You body anyone, right? I'm going to give you more. Why were screens even created in basketball? Why? Why? Look it up. Read it. Read about basketball. Offense. What do screens do? What do screens do? What's the point of a screen? To score the ball easier to make the offense more efficient to make it easier to score to be more unpredictable with less effort people can't key in on you and create the perfect defense it's much easier to create a perfect defense versus iso than with when someone's abusing broken screens okay I'm not even talking about how unrealistic screens are in the game. They're literally broken. They are realistic. You feel me? People, like you guys are delusional. You think like bopping or, or behind a screen, like what are screens created for? What, what, what are you doing behind a screen? You're hiding behind someone. What, what is that? If, if you're so talented, why do you need to hide behind someone and seal people from guarding you. Why is that? What is what is taking place when someone is dribbling behind a screen? They're trying to get a bucket in an easier fashion, right? How is hiding behind someone taking the most skill? It makes no sense. It does not take more IQ. Screens are more brain dead because you seal someone out the play. You seal them out the play. Every move you could do with isoing, you can do with screens. But along with that, you can seal someone out the play and cause a confusion for an open three or a quick alley-oop or pass to dunk the ball. Bro, there, there's no debate. You niggas are literally morons, bro. Play how you want, do how you want, but stop with this lying and discrediting people and just saying stupid shit because you're ass, right? You fucking suck. You're terrible at the game, bro. What ISO creates, bro, why people dislike it so much nowadays and just, just bots in general, you know why? Because it's embarrassing, bro. When you get put on an island, my nigga, and shown that you have no defense, it's the most embarrassing thing on 2K. And you get cooked over and over and over again. It hurts, my nigga. It hurts your pride. It hurts your soul. At least with screens, it you know, it, it's not as obvious that you have no defense, right? That's why niggas hate ISO. It's embarrassing. Go play basketball, bro. Look, 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 look what happens. If if someone's setting screens, just cooking you, shooting threes, fading and all that, it's like, damn, man, we, we got to do this. We got to do that. It's not like, but if you get cooked ISO, that shit hurts your pride. Grow up, my nigga. Like, understand the obvious. This is undebatable, bro. Now, they, 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 they try and push this other narrative and point right screens are in basketball all this other shit right now look listen 
they are in basketball. But guess what? If you actually go outside and you play basketball in real life, when you go play street ball, what are people doing 97% of the time? When you go play at LA Fitness, 24 hour fitness, what are people doing? They're ISOing, my nigga. There are no big bodies like in the game. You understand that? Do you understand that? So screens should not be overpowered if they're trying to mimic real life, bro. Screens are not overpowered in real life. You're a fucking moron. Okay? Like, j just off that fact, park, pick up games, stuff like that, stage, screens should not be overpowered, bro. They could be a part of your offense or whatever, but they should not be the meta, my nigga. It needs to be more balanced. If 99.999% of people at the comp stage are running screens, that means that that's the meta, bro. It needs to be a balanced meta. 60, 40, 50, 50. You know, something, it's not balanced, bro. Casuals, what are they doing? They're not isoing. Tell you that, that that explains my whole point, bro. The, the, the truth, my nigga. Why are y'all trying to hide the truth from people? Now, a lot of y'all are delusional. Y'all don't even know the best NBA players are ISO players. Of course, in 5v5, you're going to run screens, but... You're still an ISO player. KD, LeBron, MJ, Kobe, Melo, Wade, Rose, Westbrook, etc. Lillard, ISO players. Chris Paul, ISO player. Even though they run screens, they're they're ISO players, bro. Paul Pierce, Giannis, ISO players. Now in the NBA, bro. There are rarely hard screens. Now, y'all can have the, the hard screens and stuff like that in Pro-Am and all that. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really too much care, bro. But in the park, in the stage, it, it doesn't need to exist, bro. It's unrealistic. It's there for casuals, not for a skill gap. You niggas suck. I have Hall of Fame pick dodger. And a nigga with no brick wall can just seal me out of play. It's retarded, my nigga. <laughs> I'm not talking about guards. I'm talking about when I play on my lockdown, bro. I play amazing defense. I have a 95-1% every year. I play against the best guards every year. I guard them. I lock them up. I destroy them. Right? I destroy paint beasts. But... There's moments when I, I just, I'm, I'm just useless, my nigga. That's the problem. That's the problem. It's not, it's not skill. It's strategy and tactics, bro. And it's, it's overpowered build. It's no longer stick skill anymore. In real life, there's several things you can do. You can over hedge, you know, you can fake hedge, you can trap, you can do all these things but the thing is in 2k bro you can't you can't when you play decent niggas bro or niggas that are good at exploiting bro you 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 can't you can't stop the alley-oop it's very rare that you stop the alley-oop the success rate's too high even if you're there alley-oops barely happen in real life okay they, they they barely happen, bro. I'm fine with alley oops going in wide open, but when when contested, that shit should not happen, bro. Niggas are throwing like eight alley oops a game when when you when you're forced to pick up. You you go under green, you go over, they they get you out to play green. You know it's like it's too easy. It, it's not enough stick skill, bro. It's just the abuse of the game. You're sealing niggas out of plays. They're, these are not perfectly set screens. They're just holding circle. Uh, bro, bro, a little four-year-old can learn how to set screens and become a master, bro. I could train a four-year-old to become the greatest screen setter, bro. It shouldn't be like that, bro.
niggas should really have to be smart and like be like really on their their p's and q's it's too easy but anywho with those first points that i was explaining that that bodies that that whole argument so i need y'all to spread that knowledge across across the uh the 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 two bro the across the the 2k streets man you know like just be honest my nigga like what what is all this this lying and and discrediting shit like man y'all are weird bro like you you don't have heads anywho i'm sorry about that rant y'all let me know how y'all feel about it make sure y'all subscribe if you new. go follow me on twitch lord baby hawk on twitch you want to see me play live my boy and let's get into what this video is really about <laughs> So look, um, 2K's marketing team is incredible this year. I'm I'm not gonna hold you. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about their marketing team, bro. This is easily like the best marketing ever, bro. <laughs> like it, it's crazy, man. So look, they made sure to release this. There are really people going out there that are going to get Xbox November 10th and then get playstation 5 november 12th bro just to play the game two days early i i do not recommend this if you're not trying to be a content creator and you have a little juice and you're not trying to get an od head start i wouldn't recommend this bro but but if you're one of those people you know it, it can make sense bro you can average like five thousand views you could turn that to something you stream it um you just spam videos and all that you know you could take that momentum and become something but besides that, like y'all, like niggas that ain't gonna even be able to tap in or just normal people, what are you doing? And is this gonna help make y'all's decision just to play it two days earlier? Like, is, is anyone, y'all let me know in the comments, man. But um, yeah, I'm definitely just gonna wait on PS5. It's not that deep to me. I know I could, you know, but I, I don't think, I don't know, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think YouTube algorithm fuck with me like that. I ain't gonna hold you. But hey, man, if you mess with your boy Swan, go to this nigga Ronnie Two Caps Twitter and spam my Twitter and um yeah, just spam my Twitter Z Swan TZ baby. This is not my Twitter. Uh, yeah, under his uh comments, um Swan TZ baby got banned and all that, you know, but. Yeah, I know I'm not gonna get a logo, but just let, let these niggas know the, the, that I'm here. The Real Nigga Academy is here. And I got merch coming soon, bro. So, yeah. But, yeah, the main part of this video is this right here. Young Baluba tweets out, you guys okay with fades now? Um, I said fades are still OP, right? And this is true. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Um... Now, if you guys ever played a skill gap 2K, 2K16, 2K15, right? You would know what I'm talking about. Before patch 3 hit in 2K15, um, people weren't fading like gods, right? Patch 3 ruined 2K15 whole reputation. And in 16, they took fades out the game to where you had to stop, right? Or your, your shot's not going in. That made the game a way higher skill gap. And it took a lot of bailouts out the game. They made a patch for that, bro. It stopped a lot of cheese out the game, right? That's what they need to do. And this game would be a lot more fun. Um, A lot of y'all just be delusional. Like, a lot of stuff I say have been in past 2Ks. Like, I'm not trying to just base it off a guard and all that. And I've played more on my lockdown this year than my my ISO guard. So I'm making sure y'all niggas can't say nothing, right? Oh, you're just an ISO player. It's gonna no nigga. I'm playing on my lock, my perimeter lock, and I'm still repping for the niggas. Look at me. Stop nerfing ISO, nerf screens. Look, you know, Steezo talking about the park handles shit. Oh my god, oh my god, why did I say this earlier? Oh my god. Bro, if y'all are still watching the video, look, listen. Do what I'm about to say. Watch my last video. Learn how to 
remap your park handles to a different button preferably like the up button on your d-pad for l3 and tell me if you can't pass at certain times and you have to double hit x to pass or you can't shoot at certain times and you have to double hit the shoot button and you feel delayed sometimes please let me know or let me know if you don't even do that if that happens or if that started happening after patch three i was isoing last night and bro i was like losing my mind bro i don't know i don't know what it is i don't know if now i have to keep the park handles on l3 and just be fucking screwed because if you map your buttons it's going to mess make you not be able to pass or shoot like what the fuck what the hell or i don't know if it's patch three or if this has just been been in the game i i, I don't know but yeah man young david said ankle breakers aren't here y'all let me know how y'all feel about ankle breakers and go leave your feedback man try and try and get this game switched around before next year um you know i'm sure a lot of this stuff is gonna apply to next gen too so you know you gotta you gotta try but yeah um ankle breaker should definitely be buffed um look at chop man this nigga's an idiot the fade king look at this what the hell bro this nigga dumb as hell get your dumb we got young grinding nerf until jordan himself could hit what young intellect steezo nerf fades more and buff pick dodger this game has everybody playing the exact same way because it's not balanced that's what that's my point bro <laughs> if 99 9 if 99.999 percent of people are using screens what does that tell you that they're easier to use and they're overpowered they he needs to buff pick dodger bro why does pick dodger not work it's it's retarded i shouldn't have to play sides with hall of fame pick dodger and all these amazing stats i shouldn't have to bait certain stuff and it, it's not right my nigga i shouldn't have to play sides for someone that doesn't even have brick wall screening me a point guard it's broken man hey this nigga uh bridge for it where you know whites going in too much is a much bigger problem oh moses Heavily nerf whites, slightly nerf fades. Nah, heavily nerf fades. Remove park handles, remove the shot stick aiming. Heavily nerf post hooks, you do this, we'll be happier. Facts, oh God. Young Power actually didn't say nothing stupid. This dumb nigga, <laughs> he usually, he, he's usually an idiot, right? He says, I see no difference. Nothing seemed to change. <laughs> That's the same way I feel. Young LaMonsta, you know? You let the same things be OP every year and somehow keep nerfing ISO each match. I give up. <laughs> Bro, see, see, look, look, look. That's how I feel inside. I know I still talk because I want y'all to reap the benefits years later, bro. Two Ks later, you know, I want you. I know it's not going to happen now. I know it's not, but at least. Bro, what the fuck is this, bro? What the fuck is this? I'm finna block this nigga. Um. <laughs> Look. But, hey, man. Five, three years, two years. <laughs> we we gonna be in the whole community. Whole gang gonna be isolating, my nigga. It's gonna be vibes. Remove park dribbles. Anywho, man, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all subscribe to my second channel. Y'all want um, to see a bunch of Rage Todgers. I got plenty of footage. I just got to sit down and make them. If any of y'all want to make these Rage Todgers for me, bro, I mean, I ain't going to pay you. <laughs> but <laughs> if y'all want to do it, like, just clips, like, not no edits. I mean, you can if you want, you know. Um, <laughs> but other than that, then I'm gonna be putting them out at my pace. But if any of y'all just want the footage and you want to do something like that, you know, hit me up, man. DM me on Twitter. But other than that, make sure you subscribe if you're new, like up the video, turn on post notice, check out all my uh, build videos. I'm the build god on the tube.
And um, I got a lot of interesting, funny, hilarious videos coming soon, man. Y'all just be patient with me, man. I, I can't upload three videos a day, bro. <laughs> that's, that's not how it work, my boy.